What up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jazz, welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise game, and today we are heading all the way to Florida, going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, definitely turns out to be one very, very interesting game, so, you know, we're doing very well in the season, so far only one defeat, you know, we're on a winning streak, you know, we're doing very well, we have Des Bryant back, you know, we have our full offense back and ready to roll. So, you know, we've definitely been able to improve offensively, you know, just by being able to have, you know, uh, key players back like Amendola and Des Bryant. So, right there, I noticed immediately they got J.J. Watt. And my offensive line ain't that good. So, I'm expecting to have a whole lot of J.J. in my face. No homo. So, uh, here we go, man, to try defensively. Stop Tony Romo in the Jags. Eight TDs, 12 interceptions so far on the year. So to begin the drive, they start off with the run, and uh, we end up bottling that up pretty well as we go ahead and take a look at their offensive starters. So um, if anybody's new, that on the top, or while you're seeing people follow, this game was played live via live stream. If you guys are interested in watching me play these games live, link is in the description, twitch.tv slash MrGoldenSports. Go ahead and follow, and you'll get to see me play ranked matches. It's a bamboo! You get to see me play ranked matches. You get to see me play, you know, franchise games live, hang out, and have a good time. So, all right, we take a look at our defensive starters, and def I, I, I still love the defense that we put together this year, man. Really, really good core of uh, young guys. Ryan Romo just dumps off really quick and puts it the first down. He's so strong, though. Looks like he could have went all the way, but that hurdle slowed him down, gave us enough um, slowageness for us to be able to catch up to him. So uh, we forced the third and goal right here, and unfortunately, just a really quick dump off to the fullback. We do get him, but he ends up breaking the tackle, and he ends up scoring. So Tony Romo gets his first score of the game. So that right there is definitely frustrating knowing the fact that we went ahead and stopped him you know, um, short of the end zone, but he breaks the tackle and then he ends up scoring. So that right there, you know, is definitely very frustrating. But right there, we get Amendola, and I don't know where he came from. That man was very, very quick. And here goes Colin Kaepernick, the orchestrator of the Cardinal offense. 16 TDs, 14 interceptions thus far this year. Definitely threw a whole lot of uh, touchdowns and threw a whole lot of passes to the other team. So uh, hopefully we can go ahead and, you know, uh, be successful passing the ball. You know, as I said numerous times, this season I wanted a heavy uh, pass offense. You know, uh, the Vikings franchise was heavily ran, you know, heavily uh, run offense based, you know, by having, you know, uh, Adrian Peterson and, and a gorgeous offensive line. It was gorgeous. <laughs> Here, not so much our offensive line is very weak. But we got Gronkowski, we got Des Bryant, we got Tavon Austin, we got offensive weapons. So right here, we decided to go to the play action. We end up throwing to my main man, Butler, who has been one of my favorite targets since I've added him from the free agency. I picked him up once Amendola got hurt. Right here, we reroute Gronkowski, who was going over towards the middle, but unfortunately, it was batted down. So decided to go to another play action. We scored a touchdown, but unfortunately, it gets called back due to holding. That right there is very, very very frustrating uh, I struggle on this side of the field a lot within the red zone against the computer so um, to be able to score and have it called back was definitely a deflating thing uh, right here we just thought a really quick uh, precision pass to Butler but unfortunately uh, just wasn't enough for the end zone so we are forced to go on ahead and kick a field goal so uh, they did a very good job of stopping us even though it came <laughs> through a penalty nonetheless man to get a very crucial stop which prevented me from scoring and right now we're back on defense man hopefully we can go on ahead and get ourselves to stop man hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, force a punt turnover anything anything that could get us this ball back so third and forever they decide to run the ball and we do eventually tackle them and um, we go on ahead and call a timeout and we receive the ball back with about a minute 30 left which I feel is definitely enough time with one timeout to go on ahead and move downfield we do get ball at halftime so you know keep that in mind Right here, trying to work my way in the pocket. It's a fumble. And mama, there go that man again. There go J.J. Watt making plays. Just absolutely block shedding like the boss that he is. Forcing a fumble. Uh, unsuing play. They just call a um, running back screen. They score a touchdown. Now I'm down 14-3. Now I'm a little I'm a little nervous. You know, can't lie. Um, you know, they've had the ball twice. They scored on both possessions. You know, we've had a field goal and a fumble. So, um... Uh, Right here, to me, I definitely feel like it's, it's a must-score situation. You know, um, I don't want to get ball at halftime and be down one uh, a possession if I do score. So, even if I kick a field goal here, you know, something that gives me, you know, the opportunity to tie the game or take the lead um, when I get ball at halftime. So, 
Oh, here we go, man. We roll outside the bike. We go deep right up the middle of my big boy, Gronk, who is definitely uh, killing for us this year. He leads the team in receptions and rushing yards. And I'm pretty sure in TDs. And as the quarter was about to expire, we actually throw towards the corner of the end zone on a quick out route to Tavon Austin, who comes through with an amazing touchdown catch. And that right there was a big shift of momentum because, like I said, we get ball at halftime. So we have the opportunity to go on ahead and take the lead. So uh, we jump right into halftime, and here's our halftime stats. Not really running the ball too much. Uh, passing, you know, pretty well. Uh, time of possession, uh, we, we have the lead, but... Uh, we, we got to shape up on defense. You know, I can't continue to allow them to score every time they touch the ball. So, uh, right here is a very, very big, important drive. You know, we want to be able to score. And even if we get a field goal, you know, a field goal keeps it within one possession. You know, something that doesn't allow them to go up two possessions. So, uh, right here, just another inside pass to Butler. Like I said, man, ever since I found him off the free agency list, he has been absolutely killing for me. Right, we go to the modified screen. We got big run. Run somebody over. Run somebody off. Oh, man, he was... <laughs> He was tripped up and uh, kind of stumbled out of bounds. So, uh, here we go, man. Amendola, as you guys see right there, is injured, dislocated elbow. Oh, uh, looks like he's going to be missing some time again. This is his second time on the injury list. And thankfully, we found a receiver that can, um, you know, pick up the slack. Because, uh, like I said, Butler's filling in just perfectly fine. You know, so here we go within the red zone, man. We do a quick run with DeMarco Murray, and he gets absolutely caught in midair and uh, spine buster down. Right there, we get sacked, and we're forced to kick a field goal. And we almost missed it. We almost missed it. It hit the upright and still went in. That right there would, would have been very frustrating if I was able to miss that kick. But thankfully, that's not the case. So um, it is a one-possession game. Even if they score, we will be down eight, but we still have an opportunity to uh, tie the game up. So, um... They're doing a very good job of, of just being able to dink and dunk the way down the field. These short little routes that are being very, very effective. Tony Rome with 8 for 9. Uh, right here just to run up the middle. And Frank Gore is having a, a decent game. Right there, we get a big sack right there by Elam. So right now, 36, can we get the ball back? And that's exactly what happens. Uh, we uh, force an incomplete pass due to contact due to uh, our main man, uh, Pat Willis, screaming up the middle. So... Uh, here we go, man, with an opportunity to get our first lead of the game. Let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, very tough position to be in. You know, our end zone is on our backside. We definitely need some breathing room. So we decided to run the ball, see if we can hit the outside. And uh, we don't get too much, man. We get a couple of yards. But that right there may be all we need just to get a little bit of breathing room. Really quick uh, slant over the middle to Tavon. They called a, a, a blitz, and he was just uh, wide open really quickly. Uh, again, another pass over the middle. Gronkowski is definitely the one go-to guy that I want over the middle. Somebody who is a big target with good hands that I trust holding on to the ball. So you will often see me giving the ball to Gronkowski over the middle. So a uh, nice run by uh, Murray. We call a play action right here. And we try to get away. Nothing there. So we just got to throw the ball out of bounds, man. <coughs> Third down. Let's see if we can pick up this first down. Quick out route. And unfortunately, we are one yard shy and have to give the ball um, actually, no, not give the ball back. We kick a field goal, excuse me, and we miss. We miss the field goal. That is like my fourth missed field goal this year. I don't know what the problem is, but I am just missing way too many field goals. Right here, I'm starting to call timeout, man. You see, fourth quarter is here, and they got the ball, and uh, we call timeout. If they get a first down, game is over. They get it, and they actually score. Now, that wasn't done on purpose. They actually just did a very good run and scored. So now, cue the football music. All right, here we go. Let's go. We are down eight with an opportunity with the middle left to see if we can go downfield and tie this game up. We need to touch down in the two-point conversion. So Kaepernick is standing in the pocket. Really quick pass to my main man, Butler, who's absolutely having a great year this year. So we pick him up. First and ten, Kaepernick again stands in the pocket. And he throws another strike right over the middle of Gronkowski. And so far, this drive is going just the way planned as we, as we need it. Two big plays. Ryan Kaepernick decides to take off and we get out of bounds, saving us that one timeout. 30 seconds left, and we go really quickly to Des Bryant. Whoop! Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's Mo Mo Moss who gets us within the five yard line. No huddle. We got to save that one timeout in case of emergency. So, right here, let's see if we go ahead and put this ball in the end zone. We're trying to see if what we can do. And we're looking, and we're looking, and Kaepernick decides to take off and he uses his legs. What about my legs, Charlie Murphy? You can buy another couch, but what about my legs? And we go for two. We pick up the two-point conversion. And this game is now going into overtime. For the first time this year, your 2013-2014 Arizona Cardinals will be playing some extra football. 
So, since we are the away team, we have the opportunity to go ahead and pick the toss, and that's exactly what we're doing. Obviously, we want to win the toss to see the ball score, touchdown, win this game. So, let's see if it happens in that order. So, right now, man, I'm nervous. We pick tails, hoping, not pick tails, we pick tails, hoping that we're going ahead and win this toss. And that's exactly what happens. Of course, we decide to receive, give us the ball. Let's see if we can drive downfield and win this game. So, our offense is on the field. Let's see what they can do. Tavon Austin decides to take it out. And he goes towards the left. Whoop! Back to And he's got room towards the left. And it looks like he's some dirt, son. He's some dirt, son. Two he can go. Oh, look. Oy, my main man, Tavon Austin, takes it all the way to the house and wins us the game in overtime. What a game. We came through. The last drive scored with seconds remaining. Two-point conversion to tie the game. In overtime, our offense didn't even need to touch the field. The special teams took over. And that right there was an absolute incredible way to win the game. Woo! Close game, but at the end, we come away with the victory. Can't ask for much more than that. And player of the game is Kaepernick. He definitely had himself a good game. And that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next game, we'll be up against the 5-5 five and five Colts. So like I said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It's your boy GS, and we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby. Yeah.